Hi, this is Daniel Overton from CR Kennedy in Sydney. In this video, we're going to take just a really brief uh, look at the Cloudworks toolbar that is available for some CAD software as a plugin. Uh, so at the moment, we're going to uh, look at it in BricsCAD, uh, but the Cloudworks tools are relatively standard across the available CAD suites. Uh, now, so the one of the most common ways to work with Cloudworks is by uh, working with an LGS file. So if we hit this open LGS file here, uh, we can browse to the LGS file that we want to open up. So I'm going to go to Third Avenue. Uh, we can choose uh, units that we want to work in and coordinate systems as well if we're working there. Uh, so now I'm just going to zoom all, so double click my middle mouse wheel. And we've got our top down view of our point cloud. I'm holding down my shift key and middle mouse wheel and I can now orbit through my point cloud. Now, at first glance here, I see that we've got some high trees, a sloping block. So I know that I'm gonna have a bit of trouble as I'm orbiting around. I might get stuck behind a tree or in a view I don't really want to be in. So I'm gonna start with a bit of cleanup, uh, disregarding some points that I'm not really interested in in this case. So I'm going to use some fencing tools here. Uh, there's a number of tools actually across across here that are really handy, some, some orientation tools, really great clipping tools, so fence and limit boxes and slices, uh, viewing options, the way you view your point cloud, uh, whether or not you want it to, uh, in true color or intensity view. Intensity view really comes in handy when you're modeling. Uh, some some fitter tools, so some like structural steel, some pipe fitters, bits and pieces there. Some fantastic auto fit tools, um, so it's a auto sorry line slice tools, um, and some drafting tools in there as well. Some survey tools, a few bits and pieces, uh, and what we're going to be focusing on in this video, our uh, true space. So I'll just quickly do that cleanup. So I'm going to hide outside box let's go to the end of the driveway orbit around and i'm liking that high tree there so again i will hide outside the box okay that's a little bit easier uh and we'll just quickly just uh, for the sake of it while we're here we will look we can change this over to intensity mode if we wanted to uh, rather than true color um, but for this video, we're going to work in true color view. Uh, now, for anyone that's used to viewing an LGS, an LGS file working in Jetstream or uh, TrueView, uh, you remember that you're able to generally see uh, your setup locations as red spheres. You can double click on those and jump into your panoramic imagery. Uh, now, in this case, in your, in your CAD suite, that's options not available. Uh, however, we do have the ability to work in with that imagery uh, using this option here called True Space. So if I hit this True Space option here, and it brings up this little toolbar box here. Now, say for example, we are going to be working on you know, number two right here. Uh, I'm going to pick a point on the cloud and say this is my point of interest. This will take a little couple of seconds to open up, but our true space will launch on another screen here for me. Now, basically what this is, is we're now going to be working across two screens. So on the left-hand side, we have our CAD software, and on the right-hand side, we've got our uh, imagery. Now, as I said, uh, on the right hand side, we've got our imagery. Now at the moment we're seeing imagery and point cloud. So I'm just going to toggle our point cloud off. Now you'll see as I'm orbiting around, as I'm sorry, as I'm panning around on the right hand side, my uh, CAD software on the left hand side is syncing up. So whatever I'm viewing on the right hand side, I'm also viewing on the left. Uh, now, one hand, another handy thing in here as well is that we've got our red spheres now. Uh, these can also be toggled on and off. Right, in this case, we want to leave them on. That's, that's handy. Uh, we can double click in any one of these, <laughs> these spheres and jump into alternate imagery. 
Uh, now we also have the option here, because this is scanned with the RTC, we're looking at the standard imagery, but the RTC has also taken HDR imagery. So we can toggle it over and view that sharper image with the uh, multiple exposures. And because we have auto brightness turned on, uh, as we zoom in, uh, our brightness adjusts and zoom back out, adjust to suit. We can also toggle off auto brightness if we want and manually crank that up or down. Another handy feature in here as well is um, syncing up your drafting. So if I go back over to my CAD software on the left hand side and open up, for example, a uh, 3D polyline, back over on the right hand side, now wherever I click on my image, my 3D polyline starts to be drawn. So now we've got our 3D polyline that's snapped to my garden bed there. Uh, so then that probably just about covers it. Just some basics of uh, TrueSpace with your Cloudworks plugin. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope this helps.